Hey everyone, Luke from Wet Tech Review. Here is my first ever review on Jolly Cloud 1.1. So let's get started. Okay, I'm starting up Jolly Cloud now. And while it starts off, I'd just like to say that I can't wait to do a bunch of reviews uh, with the end of this year and next year. And I can't wait to get your responses to each of my videos and see how you like them. So while VirtualBox starts up Jolly Cloud, I'll tell you a little bit about it. It was started in 2008 and it offers a bunch of features. I would say it's a cross between like a Linux machine like Ubuntu and Chrome OS because as you can see in the loading picture, cloud-based but it's like half cloud-based because it can also use a hard drive and access files and actual programs like OpenOffice and it's really cool and I've been using it for I'd say like a month now and I've really liked it but I don't know if I would actually use it as my main operating system. Jolie Cloud has come to one netbook but they say it's not a netbook and it's called the Jolie Book and it runs their Jolie Cloud 1.1 that I'm running now on my virtual machine. Um, and this is supposed to be a leader in educational computers, and it's the very first of its kind, and it's available in the UK. So let's get to the actual OS. And they have a nice little login. And let's just wait, a cloud should pop up in a minute. And the Jolie books have this interesting design and it's kind of like a kid design and that's what this book is aimed towards and this entire OS because they're aiming that younger generations might use Jolie Cloud more so enough with this let's just get to the OS okay so this is what it looks like it has um, a bunch of apps and they work really well they kind of look like the Chrome OS and they have multiple pages like this but these aren't all cloud based like a lot of them aren't cloud based but some are like this one plants vs zombies will load off the internet while a program like writer open office writer is installed on the virtual hard drive so if you look at the top we have this universal search so i could say firefox and it'll let me search on Jolly Cloud for an app Firefox or on Google, so I could say search Jolly Cloud. And there's the Firefox web browser. So if we go back home, this is the home button, the A. And if you look to its left, there's a plus button that we can click. And this will take us to something called the App Center. The App Center is their own version of the App Store that supplies you with over 750 apps to choose from and really they have anything you could think of from different types of games like Space Invaders or Farmville or Solitaire to different types of browsers they only have a few here but they have like Opera and Firefox to other things like I have Skype installed they have Gmail, Google Voice, Facebook chat and a bunch of stuff like that and it's really limitless with what you can do because they have so many apps that it makes it so easy to get around this and use it. And it's, well, I think it's easier than a traditional computer because it is all online. But it just depends on what you feel and it gives you the option to use it like a traditional computer. Where on my second page I have local apps. And these are all apps stored in the actual virtual hard drive so you can still install other apps. And I don't know what others, oh, the icons. Okay, so right across from the home screen button, we have our social networking button, and I have none right now. But it shows who you're following and your followers. And we can look at some of the top users right now. And when you get Jolly Cloud, each person gets a user where everything is stored, so that if you ever lose your computer or move to a new computer, everything will always be in sync, just like Chrome OS would do, or any other cloud-based operating system. And then, to the right of that one, 
is a folder looking icon and this is really your Windows Explorer or Finder like let's say like something like that and what you can do here is you can browse all the files on your computers and see if I click documents it'll actually open a real window like this that you would see in a Linux machine then you can do whatever you do you can go through the files in here and look at different things and stuff like that you can just click the icons at the top to minimize each thing and as well as looking at folders you can look at other drives in your computer the only one right now is Jolly Cloud, but you can also use web-based storage like Box.net, Dropbox, and Zumo Drive. To the right of that is our Settings tab, which all my information will be blurred out. But here you can look at your info and membership and history, uh, favorite apps, devices this is installed on, and what type of computer you're using and right now mine says Apple other because they didn't have MacBook Pro so if we go back to the home screen this really gives you a lot of options to do things with and a lot of these are shortcuts but a lot are apps like taking plants vs zombies again which I love playing uh, just takes you to an online version of the game it should load up in a minute like this so this will just take you to an online version of the game while other apps like say impress if you want to make a powerpoint presentation is an actual application installed that needs to be installed onto the um, virtual device and as you can see it's actually loading OpenOffice.org 3.2 and it's right here so a lot this is a really good operating system and it gives you a lot of options and it's very simple to use and I would say that this works a lot better for me than say like Chrome OS because it gives me the option to use a physical hard drive unlike Chrome where everything has to be cloud-based and it's just much easier and it suits me very 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 well but this also lets you access the thing anywhere your OS and that must be to me it's the best part of this because you can go to Jolie Cloud's website JolieCloud.com and there's a little sign in tab and if you sign into your computer you can access everything that you have here and use it so if you're at the office and you leave a file on your home computer and it happens to be installed with Jolly Cloud, you can just go online and log in and take the file off or edit it directly online. And that makes it really nice. And this has so many customizable features. Like you can move these apps wherever you want. Oops, I opened it. Well, you can move these wherever you want. Like you can drag Pac Man there. And you can do things like that, and you can see the cloud up there syncing it. Watch if I move it back. The cloud syncs it back, so you always have up to date. You can change background images. Say you want a seashore now. And it's changing. Just take some time because it's emulator. Or you can have no background and have gray. Here we can go to this nice sunset. You can also just play around with this. They have so many things that you can choose from. And you might as well just test it out in something like VirtualBox or other things like that. And it's just a wonderful operating system. So you can go to our website wettechreviews.blogspot.com to read a full review er, and you can download this in the links and below and everything will be there for you and I just encourage you to all try this out because it's a wonderful OS so go to juliecloud.com and try it out please leave comments or email us if you have anything you'd like us to review or like to send anything to us to review and please 
rate, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.